I'm Ron Wiebe. I used to come up here as a child. My first memory from this home is looking back on the childhood photo when I was one years old in 1980. And I was sitting there on the porch that's no longer there. Um, we used to come up here in the summertime. Mom, dad, at the time, just me and my older brother. This was our, you know, summer playground. When I got old enough to leave the house and fly the coop and get a new house for myself, I decided I wanted to come up here to the place that we used to vacation in. I redid all the plumbing and everything. And, uh, so I made the staircase and this, you know, the ground. Yeah. You know, got married, started the family, and this was the home where everything started and evolved from. It was, it was home, it was comfortable, it was warm. Uh, we had a ton of great times. It, every little thing we tried to make it better from hanging a picture on the wall or, it took 25 years, but like every, every year of just working towards making things comfortable. Just moving forward to a, like a better life. We knew a hurricane was coming up from the Gulf and I've seen that happen before. So I was thinking, well, maybe it might come into the basement, but we'll be okay. But it kept coming up and up and up. When it started happening, we were in disbelief. We couldn't, you know, we were putting towels and rugs down to keep the water out because we thought this can't be happening. It's gonna end in two minutes. We quickly realized that it, it was just kept coming and coming. And, you know, we all just pack up a backpack, basically just ran out the back door. We just stayed until we had to, until we got pushed out. We drive across the hill and get to this other house that's on higher ground. Quickly kind of realize where we are is safe for that moment. I look at Anna and I say, we, we got to go. We got to go there. We got to go find them. So we get in the, in the gator and we drive across the mountain all the way down to the flat. We get down to where we think the house was looking through the trees. You know, the river level is up, you know, 300 yards wide of what it used to be. And it sounded like a, like a train wreck on ice. It was like, just I don't know if it was trees or all the campers bunched up. I mean, I saw a bunch of them just, it was like a, like a train wreck just in the water. Yeah. It was just bodies of campers and stuff just being crushed against trees and there was no home. Uh, it was just nothing there. And on it's like, my family's gone, that's it. Basically, we just, we saw what we saw and we walked away from it with very little talk about it. It was just like... Anna has been here to over 25 years, but the rest of her family has been in Ukraine. She's always dreamed about them, you know, coming here and got them here one by one. It was amazing. Like, they show up here, it's like, for 20 years I would go there and see them in their country and they come here and their Anna's whole family is here, including her mom. And she ends up here, which is a miracle. Dima shows up here. He's helping me work on like the house with some other guys and they see what his skills that he can do. They hire him on the spot to go do a job. He's worked for a company doing construction, just like that, perfect worker. Kid is here, he goes to school. All the teachers, all the kids know the kid. He's an awesome kid, bright kid, full-blown big future. It's just one of the most... No, just one of the most 
beautiful families that there is, but they just gone, gone, gone.